who do you think was the bargain of the year neil let's start with you can i say declan <laughs> rice because that's going to be ridiculous right a little bit ridiculous <laughs> considering like he was a 100 million buy but let's not yeah. let's not let's not do that um let's not be let's not be biased here <laughs> let's not be biased here i'm going to say just because i'm going to say just because of the impact endo has had at liverpool and you know considering so many uh, different defensive midfielders that went this summer he was probably the one who was like the least you know exciting or the least the, the, the least talked about at least and he is also at an age where like you know he the price tag is sort of justified but still the performances that he put in in the season let's not forget the liverpool are still third with the team that they have they're not let's be real they're not at the same level the team is not at the same level as arsenal and city but they did compete with arsenal and city now obviously this is a lot the uh, lot of it is down to jurgen klopp and a lot of it is down to the coaching staff but still i mean the performances that endo has put in this season with the price tag that he's had uh, you know already won uh, a league cup and finished third uh, even in big games he's been really good uh, a lot of big games come into mind i think for me right now i can think of uh, him being the 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 star of the season the bargain of the season uh, bargain of the season yeah no a very good great shout because for me it's his, it's his counterpart in that midfield uh, so it was a coin toss between mcallister and endo for me uh, given the way they performed they were not very expensive and endo especially was uh, third fourth fifth choice whatever you want to say because they kind of like didn't get the first like they didn't get kaisero and lavia but i think mcallister the way he's converted uh, penalties come up with goals being the glue in the midfield for liverpool was kind of like you know help them propel them to the title challenge and up until it faltered at the very end so i think for me it was very close between both of them but i i, I go with uh, mcallister wamsi same similar you want to bring in a united player no dude i actually <laughs> wanted to sadly bring a city player in uh, which one for me guardiol this season right he, he hasn't had a great start to the season but like fuck it seems like a fairy tale bro every year right towards the end of the season there is one player pep is like i bro like it's time yeah. to get the levels up and city were nowhere close to being where you know the dominant force they were somehow 80 million guardiol has figured out that i'm going to play fucking everywhere on the left wing and oh my god the impact he's had and you know maybe this is one of those things that will push city over the line like for me this yeah. is 80 million very well spent or probably very well coached i guess i mean i think he's also signed you have to sign to yeah. coach also right? yeah 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 bro it's like one of those things like guardiol uh, guardiola takes one player and then he puts them into a machine and be like okay now you are going to be the next evolution you know okay, get to the next stage and then that person just goes on like a goal scoring form bangers or like late minute arrival last minute arrivals into the box and just propels them to you know to the next level he yeah, that ball man dude and all his like goals and like other stuff i saw were mostly like match winners or like yeah or like it sets the tone for the game and that yeah. is madness like the zero yeah. one shit hate it man hate it like i <laughs> Like, come on, yeah. where is where is that gene in Arteta? Like, break, actually, he did it. He did it with Leandro Trossard, uh, Trossard this season. So can't really blame yeah. it. Dude, sort of crazy that fucking all these Chelsea boys, like you know, Mira picked on the world Chelsea boy who moved to United for all of worst shit. But Jackson and Kunku, fucking and Kunku has just done, he's just blowed a balloon, bro. That's it. This is that's all he's done. <laughs> it's like for seventy-five <laughs> million, yeah. He, that that celebration was a little too much. Still <laughs> <laughs> out the whole season, doing balloons, yeah. and I don't know. Yeah, I was just. Kidding. I mean, it's a lot of money, seventy-five million. I was just looking at top transfers there. Yeah. Guardiola's, I think, paying off. But uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, Ooh, last one in in transfer category. The of course the best transfer move of the. Of the window. Did wait, wait, wait. I I think I missed it. But did Vamsi uh, say bargain of the season is Guardiol? Yeah. Recency wise. It'll be the title, bro. Nilam. Our recency. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't disagree. I can't disagree because they he literally came up clutch with you know all the goals in the last four or five games. I think that's that's worth seventy one million. But yeah. 